know where to go. Got any clues? These two here, before they pounced on me, said their captain had set sail for Hindersfjall. Carisu were on board his longboat. Hope you find her. Listen, if, if you come across those pirates or see Carisu anywhere, tell her to go to Blandair. Tell her to go home. Got my word on that. Farewell. We meet again. So, you change your mind? Wanna hunt the Rossbart brothers with me? Easy coin for you. Yeah, we can hunt them together. Ran! Let's get going then. I've picked up their trail, they shouldn't be far. Went well, I thought. Maybe you'd consider working together for a spell. Seems you have a gift for this kind of work. Thanks. Once is enough. So long. You Fritjof? That's right. And what do they call you, Witcher? Me? Drifter, stranger, mutant, sometimes even by my name, Geralt of Rivia. <laughs> a man with a sense of humor. I like that. Well, what can I do for you, Geralt of Rivia? Gremist wanted me to summon you. Need you to help him perform a ritual. A ritual? Will this one stop him from being a mean old goat? I would go see him, for old time's sake, but I have more important matters on my mind. Look about you. The ground. See how dry it is. It's not rained for weeks. The grass is in pastures has withered. Sheep are starving. I must bring rain. But fear that... Wait just a moment. Perhaps you can help me. How? I'm a man of many talents, but manipulating the weather is not one of them. I have in mind a different skill involving your sword. You see, Mother Nature dislikes it when you take something from her by force. She will defend herself. So fiercely, in fact, that I could use a defender myself. What do you say? Sure, I'll help. Provided you go see Gremist afterwards. Agreed. Now follow me. Time for a little storm. Animal sacrifice? Should we burn folk at the stake as they do on the continent? Better a sacrifice of goats and sheep, I think. Okay, so you sacrifice shit for raining. Okay. Call me crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Skooka, swarm, fatna, hala. Rain uh, down dark. here, you fucking something. Oh, great. Neckers. Oh, foglets. Dog. Damn it. 
They've not managed to storm that fine for ages. Did you see the drops? The size of eggs. A little busy tending to the foglets. They weren't small either. Ah, yes. Unfortunately, they always emerge. But perhaps that's for the best. For the best? Why? If manipulating the weather carried no risks, it'd not give me peace. Make it rain, make the sun shine. Some would want storms, others a sea calm as a pond frozen over. This way folk petition me only when their need is great, not because they've had a whim. I get it. There are times I wish I didn't have to chase this necker or that drowner. Will you go see Grimace now? With pleasure. After a storm of those proportions, I shall gladly have her to... Help him with his ritual. Till then. Did everything you asked. Phenomenal, my boy! So, Fritja, shall we begin? The sooner the better. We've a long night ahead of us. The ritual is only for members of the Inner Circle. Thus, my dear apprentice, you must wait outside. Under no circumstances must you enter. We shall begin your tutelage come morn. Will you finally tell me what the ritual's about? Nay, nay. No one likes a meddler. Suffice to say, it's a burning matter now. Shit! We must have another. That's good stuff. Aye, there's the best from Moss Gordon. And spare from Hail Hell. Good times, Fritjof. <laughs> good times. Finally, something other than damn potions and transmutations. Guess the ritual's not over yet. Gerd, I thought I told you to sh stay outside. Only dreads of the inner circle. Sharkle Smirkle, let the boy have some fun. He's earned it. <laughs> Fine. Pour yourselves on. Gert, let the lessons begin. Don't you think you ought to sober up first? Ah, once I'm sober, we'll get nowhere on account of my hangover. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Let's start with ingesting toxins. Best approach, practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. I've practiced a lot already. Good thing. I'll make learning my secret method easier. Look, you take the potion like this and go. Who said old age is a burden? Ah. Heard you calling. Aye, because I was. I thank Mother Nature she didn't skimp on my voice, as she did with some others I know. See, one of us, a gill, went mute all of a sudden. No spell or potion helps him. But it is said strong emotions and experiences can restore speech. So, I thought perhaps you might... I'll pay you, of course. It give you an excellent Gwent card. Suppose I could try, but I wouldn't even know where to start. You want me to scare him? Aye, good, good. That should do it. Scare, irritate, whatever you wish, provided you do him no harm. You can usually find a gill near the hallowed oak. Oh man, he's probably praying in his heart for a cure. Keep trying to scare the Druid until we recover. All oh, right, okay. Well, I've done it once. All right. <laughs> uh, I like this guy already. Tin pots stand to make a lot of noise. Maybe give him a smack once he's asleep. Oh, well, I already did that. Hornet's nest, known to have therapeutic uses in shock therapy, for instance. Mm. Do the same, I guess. <laughs> Run away! Run away!
<laughs> Why can't I? Where's, where's my ability to do that? Where's my emote? <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. I'll tell you what, that's some way to start a fire. Wish I knew how to do that. I guess put it with fire. Do it just the same, I guess. Help, please. I saw already you. Hey. Ah. Oh, three years. Three years. Not a word. Not a peep. Until today, you made me break my vow. Happy? Kinda. Kinda. I was tricked, mate. I was tricked. Oh, sorry. Someone tricked me. I thought. Boo hoo hoo. My deepest sympathies. Now get out of my sight, you imbecile. Ah. Oh. Well, yes. <laughs> Heard him screaming clear over here. Grand work, Witcher. Your reward, as promised. So he did that just to do that. Don't like being played for a fool. Remember that. Or next time, you'll be the one left speechless. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The truths are on the warpath. Moved from words to deeds. Every every morn, we come to the mill to find our equipment damaged, destroyed. Last night, someone tossed an axe into Will's door. Folk and folk are scared. I'll talk to the druids one last time. This must end. Well, it seems it ended a bad way because nobody's here. Human bones. I guess they're all that's left of the lumberjacks. Okay. Ah, I know you. Well, I can deal with you easy enough. You just put behind me. And, uh... Hey, okay, flew it there. Oh, rather easy. Yeah, hard. What's in here? Letter from a druid, eh? You have gone mad if you think that these attacks and incidents are our doing. Not a single druid has taken action against you and none of us wish you harm. Our calling is to care for nature, but not at the price of human lives. In fact, man is also a part of nature and we are, are not allowed to do him any deliberate harm. Though technically you could start an earthquake. It's not your fault. Yeah. Eh, eh. Note, however, the nature is ruled by her own laws and if she has let to know you are not welcome here it would be wise to consider a halt to your wood cutting for your good and for the good of the forest maybe maybe why why would you keep that in a secret don't know how long i'll stay here till now the work was tough sure but we earned a decent living lately though i fear for my life Something haunts this place at night. It roars and wails. We can't stand it no more. And the wolves, they're always howling. Yesterday, seamen went to the privy during the night and never returned. Didn't find the body, nor tracks. Who knows, maybe he ran off. I'd rather than that something worse to have happened, truth be told. I think about leaving here more and more lately. I about going back to you and the young one. I'm no fool. I'm no fool. Maybe I could learn another trade and we'll get by somehow mm. right, up we go. maybe maybe you never know can hear you two clear on the other side of the island good may all Skellige know Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief control yourself druid I haven't stolen anything 
I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive and all the Isles with us. Barry, what are you talking about? She's not told you? Might have expected as much. The myth is that Urboros created the mask when the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his patrol, Urboros made the mask, which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. Where do you get this mask? Sailors from Clan Dimmon pulled it from the sea, near the Nyor Trench. Yeah, but how can you be sure this is Urboros's mask? Its appearance is exactly as described in the myths. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. Theft or no theft, Kroch gave us free reign. First off, this might indeed be his isle. But we, the druids, watch that no alien magic takes hold here. Secondly, after the cataclysm occurred, Krach turned to us for help, and trusted this site to our care. Third! What? What was that? No. Jennifer's used the mask. was that? Unicorns. Damn it, Yen. I saw the foglets. I meant how they get here. The power of the mask summoned them. Ermion says the mask might cause a natural disaster. Fortunate he's here, then. He can jump right in, try to tame it. Realize he won't let this pass. Oh, I'll survive, somehow. What now? The mask reveals the past, but only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. Want me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. Gonna read my mind again? You object? You know I don't like it. Let it go. I just want to see what happened. Besides, you know there are things I'd rather not know about you. Let's go. Already found the first spot. This is the spot. Put on the mask. Any instructions? Keep it on until you've seen everything. And don't stray far. Telepathy is limited in range. What's that? A portal? Two people emerged from it. The woman was Siri. How can you know? The way she moved. Like a witcher. Seems they went that way. Come. Let's find the next spot. explosion of some sort so powerful that even the echo was dangerous i wager it destroyed the forest but siri and her companion weren't harmed i saw them escape 
Let's see where to. Place is creepy. I don't like it. Nor do I. Anyone here when this happened had a slim chance of surviving. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. Siri can take care of himself. Yes? Don the mask. Someone chased Siri. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to Vela. Any chance you can figure out where Ciri's companion fled to? His portal's gotta be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. Well, ready? Use the mask. Nice fight. One repelled the other with powerful magic, then fled through a portal. A mage? Most likely. It's Ciri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. The mage who was with Ciri fled too. Know where? Hmm. His trace path leads to Velen as well. But the target coordinates of his portal differ from those of Ceres. The explosion must have disrupted his teleportation. Hmm. Ran into Kira Metz in Velen. Coincidence, maybe, but she claimed a mage came to her looking for Ciri. Be surprised if it wasn't the same one. Whoever he is, he grows more interesting by the minute. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you've brought down on us. We'll see what Krach has to say about this. Sure as hell shouldn't be angry. He agreed to help us. When he learns what's happened here. Stop panicking. Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You. You I'll deal with later. So? We think a powerful curse was cast here. Hmm. Plausible. Considering what happened to the wood, do you know upon whom? Not yet, but we know Ciri was here. She stepped out of a portal. A mage was with her. Someone chased them. They fought. Ciri was wounded but managed to escape. Where to? Velen, probably. The mage opened a portal for her, then he fought her attacker. Yes? Is that it? Got a feeling we found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you...? I can. Armor's clean. No blood, no sword nicks. Ciri's friend must have... What do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. All the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a rider of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Ciri. But why? Elder blood flows in Ciri's veins. 
That is true. She can trace her lineage clear back to Lara Duran, which is why the women in her family have always had extraordinary abilities. But could that truly be so important? Ciri's exceptional. She travels between places here and other worlds. Space is no obstacle for her. Ah. Which is why the Wild Hunt wants to capture her. Speaking of the hunt, mentioned it appeared on Hindersfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the cataclysm struck here on Art Skellig. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders said the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women, and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Mm -hmm. See you there. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. Can we talk? You were made a Hierophant. Congratulations. I thank you. The Skelliger Circle chose me years ago, about the time when the old disputes between the clans were reigniting. Job's been mainly politics then. Aye, but I've not minded. Since time immemorial, the druids have wandered betwixt the clans, keeping endless feuds in check. We care for equilibrium, the balance of all things, not just trout populations and streams. We're lucky the Jarls always valued us as advisors. The war. Curious to know your opinion. Well, I believe... Emia's chosen a poor time to wage it. Hard to find any better as I see it, with the North now in disarray. The North is weak, true. But I've the impression the Emperor is dealing with some domestic strife. Far too much to start a war. Radovid is a madman, but a cunning one. He's certain to take advantage. Lovely. My congratulations. You've a good deck, but it could use a bit of supplementation. Here, take this card. Thanks. You've a knack for it. So much so, you ought to challenge Crack. I gave him his deck, introduced him to the game. But the pupil has surpassed his master. There's also Bremist, a vile character, but undeniably talented. All did a mighty fine catch this time. Seven women and ten men. Each healthy and strong. Top quality goods. Catchman doesn't know yet where we'll sell them. But for merchandise like this, we're sure to get a good price anywhere. Perhaps we'll sell to somewhere. There isn't one we've got who's darn prey, but a darn pay nurse too. If not for that, I'll keep her for myself. But when she's not bawling her eyes out, She's young threats at us, demands we let her go or drop her off at Freyr's temple. And that, if we don't, her brother will sail after her and slaughter us all. He, he, he's kind of a madman and he probably would do that. Now, that'll be the day when blah blah blah. First three days at sea were quiet, but now a storm's blowing in. Blasted Skelligware. Uh, why couldn't it just wait till we left these waters? Hmm, crash. That's, I guess that's what happened next. I'm, I'm guessing. Taken as a last. This is a Freya would have tended to any survivors. Only ones around here with any notion about medical care. Greetings, Yen. Good thing you're here. The frostbite was starting to set in. You should have dressed warmer. <laughs> Next, you'll be pinning mittens to my coat. Can we go? Yeah. Quite a few years since I was last on Hindisfjall. But if I remember correctly, Lofoten should be this way. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm, this must be it. 
gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. Sprouted whiskers, but in the grind they lie, and me, living and unharmed. <sighs> Perhaps it were written in the stars. Grass has grown over our loved one. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption. But we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So? And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. They say the Wild Hunt destroyed this village. That is true. Though few believe us. You don't either, I'm sure. Did you see riders on skeleton horses, wearing frost-covered armor? Aye, that's how it was. They landed on our shores in a ship made of the claws of dead men, like in the ballads. Leif yelled to grab the children. Then they came, cut him across his face. He tried to whisper, only blood came out. You were to ask about someone, not prod their wounds. That's enough. What happened then? Go on. I ran out to get help, to get Leif. But so many bodies. Yole, Ingvar, little Neki. Which way did the riders go? Towards the sea, through the ravine, on horses made of bones. Bones and ice and... Enough! Get to the point. Now. We're looking for a young woman. Name of Ciri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I buried so many. I may have forgotten. This... This Ciri. Has she a scar? Here on her cheek. Yes. Yes, what happened to her? Don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before... before it all. She was in the stables, with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. Remember anything else? Anything at all? Only that she seemed tired. Very tired. And... and her hair was wet. Great. So we know she bathed. Progress. I'm sorry, Ska... Craven. My apologies. Craven. Craven could have told you more. This Craven you mention, does he have a name? He did. Until the Elder struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. A coward who willingly seeks battle? Am I the only one who sees the contradiction? That's why he did it. Craven knew he would prove the elders wrong only if he killed Morkvag. And thus regain his honor and his name. Trial by ordeal. Very Skelligan. I do not mock your laws. Please also respect ours. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Morkvarg. What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skellige. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. Mm hmm Know the type. They said he feared only one thing. 
the wrath of the gods. Borgvarg sought to prove how wrong they were, so he sailed to Hindisfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him, and Morkvarg transformed into a beast. A curse? A monster? You've got some work to do. I can get rid of Morkvarg. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvarg, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse, meaning I need more information. I understand, but I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvarg and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing, provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds, but so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due.